So America's favorite dad playing a woman, playing a nanny, is back to his old tricks in Mrs. Doubtfire on Broadway. The heat musical comedy is bringing laughs, tears of joy, and a whole lot of music each night at, at the Stevens Tonheim Theater. And audiences are welcoming its return after being shut down for nearly two years during the pandemic. And this Broadway reimagining of the hit film has it all, including a stellar cast featuring our next guest. She may be young. But she's no stranger to the Great White Way, having starred in A Christmas Story, the musical, and Matilda, the musical. So please give it up for a star that shines night and day, New York's very own, Miss Annalise Carpacci. Hi. Good morning, Annalise. Good morning. It is a pleasure to have you here. And all we have to say is, thank goodness the show is finally back. I was so excited you would think I was a part of the cast. But if you heard my singing voice, you would know that I'm not. So how did it <laughs> feel? How did it feel oh that goodness. first time the curtain went up this time? Because it went back before, and then this, you guys left, and then came back again. Yeah, this time it was even more special. I mean, as growing up with the show, literally, I was 19 when I was cast. Now I'm 22. And we've really been through so much as a world, as a community, especially our theater and the Broadway community especially. So just to be back with my Doubtfire family truly was a huge blessing and I'm so grateful. And, and Mrs. Doubtfire itself, the movie was a blessing to many of us because it gave us so much joy. It was a smash hit, still is to this day. And I'm sure people are curious as to exactly like wh what, how different is it from the movie? What's in it, what's not? Like how, but you guys being the Broadway magicians that you are, find a way to make it work. Yeah, so it's different from the movie because we are taking our show present day. Mm -hmm. It's 2022. We have cell phones. There's uh, Siri and Google and, you know, Mrs. Doubtfire in the cooking scene, for example. You have Daniel dressed as Mrs. Doubtfire trying to figure out how to make a chicken, how to <laughs> spatchcock a chicken through using, hey, Siri, how do you spatchcock a chicken instead of, you know, Julia Child? But Julia Child does make an appearance oh. in the musical in many different ways. <laughs> All right, so you know what? Who else makes an appearance? A whole bunch of young Broadway performers because you talked about growing up on this show. Now they get to look up to you because you're going to be like a big sister, a mentor to a lot of them because there they are. You have a lot of young members, of, young cast members on the show. And it's, it's so great that they have you there as this mentor, as this trailblazer because... You are a super duper talent because when you're not on Broadway performing, you are at uh, Feinstein's 54 Below performing. And we have a clip of that. We're going to take a look and then we'll discuss this to your musical career and your EP that's out now. Yeah. I'm a sucker for you. Yeah. Any road you take, you know that you'll find me. I'm a sucker for all the subliminal things no one knows about you. About you. And you make it the typical me, break my typical rules. And it's true, I'm a sucker for you. Ow, bow, bow, bow. Oh, that's the best I can do. I can't even try. But fine science 54 <laughs> below, Broadway, you are just killing it. And it, that's the, um, your, your rendition of the Jonas Brothers Sucker song. But then you have your own EP titled what? Pathetic Little Dreamer. Well, I would not. I don't, what, what's, what, what's behind the title? Because nothing... You're living your dreams. Nothing's pathetic about you. You're not, lit lit you're not little. You're a big star. So what's the, what's the story behind the title? You know, I wrote the entire album in the pandemic. It was the first time I had absolutely nothing to do in my life. And I was feeling a little pathetic because I felt like, oh, my goodness, I have nothing other than my work. I have nothing other than, you know, my artistry. So I was feeling very empty because I felt like, is this all I am? Do I have anything else? And I just started writing and 30 songs later, and then we chose the best seven. Wow. And it became Pathetic Little Dreamer. Listen, uh, by the way, you, you are literally living your dream because I heard that you, you found a note from what grade, but you said you wanted to be on Broadway? Yes, I was in, you know, I was in the eighth grade and... I guess someone must have found a bunch of arts and crafts or things that I had done and in the second grade. I wrote, said, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I said, I want to be a lead in a Broadway show. Hmm. 
because maybe someday I'll be famous. <laughs> of course. And here you are manifesting it, making it happen. Crazy. So, so your family members, like, because you, you grew up on Staten Island, right? Yes. Okay, so are they watching now? Who should we give shout outs to? Who's watching now? Oh, yes. My parents. Hi, mom and dad. Hey, My mom and dad. Hi. <laughs> And your friends, and uh, do you have any? Do you have any college friends now? Because you're in college too, right? I do. I actually just graduated from Pace University. What? And I in musical theater. Yes. Congratulations! Yay, we have you. so much to celebrate, <laughs> Mrs. Dalfire. Your EP, graduating college. I want to be like you when I grow up. If I grow up, Annalise. Hope you can come <laughs> back soon, and then you can teach me how to sing. Because I can't even say. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Even... <laughs> See, she got it right. Hello <laughs> and goodbye. I'll see you soon. Bye. Everyone, Thank check you so her much. out anytime. Check her out at Mrs. Doubtfire at Broadway Stephen Sondheim Theater. Tickets are available at the box office and through Telecharge. You are gonna love it, no doubt.